Mount Dora is one of the most peaceful areas for retirement along with the easy access to the lakes and nature and outdoor activities all around. On today's video, I have this a brand new construction property sitting in a 0 0.29 acre lot of free of associations at all and then most importantly, ready for you. Hello, hello everyone. Welcome to a new tour. My name is Marilyn Caldera. And if this is your first time in this channel, first and foremost, welcome, welcome in my dear family. My mission is to show you all of the new construction projects, incentive, education, uh, some retail opportunities, and most importantly, the best options in the market. So if you're looking for someone to guide you into this real estate world, make sure to contact me because I have the best opportunities for you. today's video i'm in mount dora florida we are in lake county this is one of the most retired county there's a lot of outdoor activities here there's a golf course all over lakes in case that you want to do kayaking you want to do paddle boarding or you want to have your own boat there's infinity options here around this area also from here we are just at seven minutes from the 441 and in that major highway you will have the opportunity to go to downtown orlando in just 40 minutes in terms of international airport you're just 15 minutes from this location because we are more into the northwest side of Orlando and the international airport is more to the southeast okay so other than that around this 441 we have public supermarket okay we have national and international restaurants in that location gas station pharmacy emergency room for all of your needs also, we are just five minutes from downtown Mount Dora. Over there, there's nice retail stores, opportunities to shop around, to enjoy with family. There's a beautiful, um, historic Mount Dora just five minutes from that location. About this property behind me, this beautiful new construction property, is a three bedrooms, two bathrooms, okay? We also have a two-car garage, 1,575 square feet, which is a decent size for a three-bedroom house, but also, 0.29 acre lot you can see and appreciate the driveway that we have right now it's an extended driveway and also we have uh, pavers in the entrance with a uh, mini columns as you can appreciate over there so so far what I enjoy and like about this property is the proximity to pretty much everything in Mount Dora also the fact that you don't have HOA or CDD in a plenty space inside and outside of the house now let's jump to the property to show you the beautiful finishes of this house Welcome into another beautiful new construction property, totally different floor plan in Mount Dora, Florida. As soon as we're stepping into this property, we want to be greedy immediately for this, um, I will say split floor plan, okay? We have a split floor plan, but it's straight. Uh, we have the access of the foyer. This is, like I told you before, different uh, model compared to the rest. So we get into this house and we can appreciate the beautiful portion of the tile floor throughout the entire house. You can see the bright colors also comes with the cathedral ceiling. So you can see how high, okay? You can enjoy how high is the section make you feel even more um, spacious in terms of the space. No super crowder. Now, uh, continuing immediately with my first full section, I'm gonna lift the kitchen for uh, later, but this is gonna be my first full section, okay? What do I have here is the laundry, the two guest bedrooms and a shared bedroom. But let's step in right away into my laundry area because what we have here is the hooks for the wash and dry machine. We have a cabinet here, 42 inch cabinets, okay? Always appreciate to have that extra storage space. 
then along with this section comes the AC unit and then if we keep walking we have the section for the double car garage super simple as the other ones what I enjoy about this area is also the sink they have the sink here and uh, the um, car garage perfect for your uh, items in the house it comes also with the garage opener the electrical panel is here in the water here as well okay just next to the um, laundry section we have the entrance of my first guest bedroom good and decent space in terms of the, the whole room okay we have those type of lines in every single window and sliding door. We have the regular wrapped connecting closet uh, for a guest bedroom and a accordion door. Okay, along with it, of course, is my guest badge. It's starting with the ample vanity, okay, with granny countertops all over in this section. We have big ample uh, mirror just in front of that and we have the toilet brand new toilet in the bathtub area the bathtub comes also with the ceramic tile okay so you can see the ceramic tile and they have a little detail backsplash in the middle for it now if we keep going into the same flow and direction we have one stop for a linen closet just to the left side really deep I will say and you have four wraps okay in total to storage your items from both guest bedrooms this is gonna be the second guest bedroom of today's video in this case we have one uh, small windows in this size but also we have another one right here okay you can open it and have the single panel so you can clean that in case that you had to do that but it's a great option to have even more natural light in this section we have the same closet as the other bedroom and we have the ceiling fans as well okay now let's approach in one of the biggest areas in the property i will say the Gourmet Kitchen has a plenty, plenty space for all of our duties here in the kitchen. Gourmet Kitchen with granny corner tiles, like a big ample area for my island, my center island, which is the main character in this kitchen, okay? You have the beautiful finishes, color matching with the style of the property. Also the uh, portional tile, really bright and nice colors, 24 by 24 is what it is. This uh, flooring, so we have cabinets all over, okay? Cabinets here, we have also cabinets there, 42 inch cabinets with also soft clothes in the chrome molding so you can appreciate how nice and elegant looks the kitchen with it um, i also enjoy the fact that we have this feature in this kitchen which is the double under mousing facing the backyard of the property so you're doing the dishes okay you will have a nice view over there and actually the size even though it's a double is really good it's really big and ample okay the property comes along with the stainless steel appliances we talk about the range the microwave brand new we have the dishwasher and we have the full side fridge remember you can extend in the warranty as the moment that you purchase this property just uh, contact the manufacturing company and then extend the warranty also the property comes with a uh, feature like elegant feature lighting so in this section will stand up the kitchen even more remember that we have the built-in ceiling and the couch lighting giving us even more bright colors in this section lastly we have the pantry area okay with all of the wraps connected we have the same um, deep in uh, materials of the rest of the closet but again you can improve this section even more for all of your needs okay then we have in front of me this space this area that we have a little situation here because based on this four plan this is split four plan this should be the dining and then um, you know at the end of this section should be the living but I will say um, you have even more options and opportunity to improve the area 
Uh, for example, right here you have uh, like outlets. You can set up a small dining table here, a uh, circle table for four people in this section. That would be nice. And then it won't interrupt you the living section. It won't interrupt you the bar section right here. It's just a small uh, circle table here that can fit up to uh, four people or even a square table that will be perfect. And I don't think it will um, bother either the entrance, the bar or the living room, which is actually this section. You can see that we have a good space here for the dining probably, but it will bother the people that actually will come and enjoy probably a TV show here, uh, but you can set up your uh, sectional couch, another couch, and you will have enough space for each area. Uh, let me know what you think about those recommendations. I think it's, it's even better to set up in that way, but for me, the property has opportunities to improve like differently as they did. From there, we have the access to the backyard, which is gonna take a look in a little bit, but I wanna save the best for the last because from this entrance, we have the access to my primary suite, which is, by the way, guys, is really nice, elegant. It has beautiful uh, features as this in a suite of bathroom, okay? This in suite bathroom comes with a large vanity right here, same finishes in terms of the materials, a granny countertop. We have even more space for the cabinets, same design as the other one, but what I catch my attention is the motor sink wall, okay? We have those uh, motor designs with the circle mirror just in front of that to give another like lever and elegant style. We have the same windows as the other bathroom to provide natural light. Uh, and we have the area here for my shower. In this case, uh, you had to install your glass shower door. You're trying to do something really nice to match with the style of this area, the bathroom. But for me, this is a great design. Um, so you have the backsplash. In this case, it match more with the clear uh, finishes of the sink, okay? And then we have the white ceramic tile through the entire section along with the private section for the toilet. Okay, now let's close those doors so you can get a better idea how is the distribution of this um, uh, section, this uh, primary suite, because from here you have the access to the living area along with the bathroom. From here you have the access to the main door pretty much it and this is gonna be the area for you to accommodate your king side bed guys um two different size of windows okay we have great section and great area for natural light really good proportion of natural light and in this area you can see how bright is the room without even turn off the lights um, then we have this door that will lead me to the walk-in closet, okay? And in this walk-in closet, we have pretty much all what we need, which is the space, the, the rods, and even more opportunity to improve this area with probably custom cabinets. Like I told you before, you can go to Home Depot and there's infinite options to customize this area and then take more advantage of these, uh, you know, spaces that we all uh, need every single time. The same beautiful personal tile throughout the entire house. And this is gonna be pretty much the section for your primary suite. So every area has a good space, a totally different floor plan that we've seen before. So tell me what do you think about this area and now let's move out to the backyard of the property to show the whole potential options that you can do in this 0.29 acre lot. Okay, and now from here we are in the backyard. We have a huge concrete slab. All of this area is perfect for your grill and uh, those are summer days with your family. Uh, a beautiful thing about this property is we have all of this space, a 0.29 acre lot that you can do whatever you want because this property is completely free of associations, uh, no HOA, no CDD at all. So 
it's gonna give you the freedom to build a pool if you want or do a playground from your family or even a jacuzzi if you don't want to do something big okay from here we have another great great potential and it's because we don't have any neighbor to my right side so you basically are in the corner of this section and if you have the opportunity to check the drum shots there's more new construction homes building in this section which means that you will build equity as soon as you buy this property because the rest of the property will increase the value of the area in itself okay um, also another great point is this property is sitting in a public water because we are in a developed area but we have septic tank obviously concrete block really uh, solid structure and a shingles in the roof okay now let's jump inside of the house and talk about the numbers for you All right, now the asking price for this property is a 429,000. Remember, no HOA, no CDD, pretty close of five minutes from downtown historic Mount Dora. Three bedrooms, two bedrooms, extended driveway around 1,600 square feet and 0.29 acre lots is acre lot is what this property will offer you at 429,000. Of course, everything is negotiable if you go with the right advisor, I mean, Marjorie Realtor. So let's jump into numbers in case that you want to retire in this property. For my dear buyers, if you're looking to buy as the lowest down payment, uh, okay, if you don't have BA, of course, because BA will be 0%, but if you want to go with the lowest down payment, you have the option of an FHA, 3.5% down payment. You must be living in the property and you need to be, um, and you need some conditions to qualify as an FHA loan. For example, you need to be living here in Florida, okay, you need a job in Florida or even a job letter, a transfer letter to qualify with 3.5% down payment, okay? If that is the case, you had to bring, you had to bring 15,000 approximately to purchase this property. You will have your taxes, you will have your insurance and your PMI, but no associations at all. Then continuing with the government loans, you have the USDA and VA option, okay? For all of my dear veterans, you have the choice to retire in this beautiful new construction property with a 0% down payment, okay? Just a little portion of closing costs that I'm always uh, able to do uh, the best negotiation for you. But in terms of the down payment, don't worry about it because you don't have to bring that portion, okay? Your interest rate will be lower than the regular market. Uh, and then you can purchase this property for the best amount of possible, okay? Same with USDA loan, also both of the programs, no PMI. Then if you couldn't qualify with any of the government loans, let's jump into the traditional loans, okay? Which is conventional loan. Still with 5% down payment, you can purchase this property as your uh, primary resident, okay? It doesn't have to be your first house, it has to be your primary resident, which means that you need to live here. Your address and your license needs to be here and in this location. And if that is the case, you had to bring $21,450, which is 5% of the purchase price to buy this house in Mount Dora, okay? Then if we continue with the same traditional loan conventional, but in this case, like for second home, let's say that you just have family here in Florida and you want to visit them from time to time, or this is gonna be the perfect option during uh, winter season, which is really, really cool out there in the north side, and you wanna come to Florida and relax and enjoy those days by the lake and outdoor activities, you can purchase this property with just uh, 42,000, 10%. Still have to pay the PMI. It will help you to drop a little bit more your uh, principal, but it's not gonna be uh, avoiding you of paying a PMI. The only way that you can avoid PMI is with a 20% down payment, which is 85,800 to buy this house 
with uh, one of the best options in case that you have the money for it. You can rent them out this uh, property uh, as an Airbnb, as like um, long-term rental if that is your case, or you just come and have a better mortgage monthly payment because you won't have a PMI and it will help you to your principal. So those are the kind of the traditional options, but if you're looking to purchase this property, you are here in Florida, okay, you really like the location, the environment and the nature, and you really want to move to Mount Dora, just contact me and I will be able to guide you into the different options, different programs. Find St. Malone's if you are a 1099 uh, business owner and you couldn't make like good taxes or you know decent taxes that's okay there are different programs for you DRCR okay um, I also work with IT numbers so there's different programs that I wanna I don't I don't have the time to break down right now but give me a call and let's uh, narrow down your option because I specialize on creating plans for every single client depending on your particular situation the best for you is what my team and I do with every single client so thank you so much for staying in another video for all of my sellers in South Florida. Remember that I'm here to do the best marketing and be able to sell your property fast in the highest value in the area because I have the tools for it. Real estate has been changed. We have to go with the same uh, evolution, okay, in this real estate world. So call me, text me if you need anything. I'm more than happy to help you in that transition. I'll see you in the next video, my dear family. Take care. Bye-bye.